What's up everybody, my name is Justin. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. If you guys are new here and you love movies, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Today we're going to talk about a new British film called Ghost. I wanted to thank the director, Anthony James, for sending me a screener of his new film. I was really excited to check this film out because it is filmed on an iPhone. Anytime a movie is filmed on an iPhone like Steven Soderbergh's film Unseen, I'm really curious about it because I want to see how it looks. I film my videos on my phone as well and I want to see how it could look on a movie. So I was really curious about this film. On the first day of freedom, a grizzled ex-con must reconnect with his troubled son before his violent past catches up with him. Anthony Streeter plays Tony Ward. He is on his first day of freedom of being in prison. He tries to reconnect with his son, Connor Ward, who is played by Nathan Hamilton. And I think the biggest draw for this movie is that it is filmed on an iPhone. It is a new way to film movies. And I'm happy to say that this is a really good looking film. The effects and the way that Anthony James, the director, utilizes the iPhone there is some really good cinematography in here. This film is beautiful to look at and it is shot so well with the iPhone. When I learned that it was with an iPhone, I was immediately interested, but everything else in this movie is really good. There are some strong performances within the movie, mainly from the father and the son as they are trying to reconnect and try to move past his days in prison. So the movie has an interesting look at father and son relationship when the father has been in prison for a while and he's trying to rebuild that relationship. It is a bit rocky at first when they are introduced together. You kind of get the sense that they are not even father and son because of how awkward and quiet their introductions are. But as the movie progresses and you get more of them together, you can get a sense of the relationship and that it is working towards being something different than it was within the first couple minutes of the movie. This is a subtle film. It doesn't have a huge overarching plot. And that's what I really liked about it is how quiet and personal the movie was. You got to understand the two characters and the relationship and watch it grow throughout the film. I feel like this film could also be a relatable to a lot of people as they struggle to have relationships with their parents as well. The performances make this film very realistic on how one man is dealing with being out of jail and reconnecting with his son and not letting his violent past catch up with him. The movie moves pretty quickly as well, and the cinematography and the directing looks really great. There's a lot of times where the camera just sits still and lets the characters just have conversations. And through that, you get to really understand them and watch them really grow throughout the film. So I really was impressed with Ghost and how the movie looked with it being directed on an iPhone and the characters as well were interesting to watch throughout the film. It's a quiet story, but the characters and the performances really carry this movie. The direction for it is really great and I think anytime a movie that is filmed on an iPhone uh, is worth watching because you know movies are filmed just your kind of typical way now and we're moving into a different age with technology and having it be on an iPhone I remember when Unsane came out and it was like you got to see it. it's filmed on an iPhone I thought that was a really good movie but this one but directed by Anthony James really great directed film filled with an interesting story I'm gonna go ahead and give Ghost a B plus Thank you guys for your review for Ghost upcoming Amazon Prime video movie. Make sure to check it out when you guys get a chance. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.